Boy, that uh, weather forecast is really going to change, as he said. It's eerie weather. You get a little bit of everything. It goes from hot to cool. All right. We're going to be tracking that, as John said, uh, coming up. And right now we want to talk about how this is the final week of school for so many students around our region. And that means parents may be looking for something to keep their children busy with in the summer season. The Booker T. Washington Center's pre-sale program is underway, and the full sale program starts in July. The summer program includes breakfast, learning and educational opportunities in the morning, afternoon field trips, speakers, creative arts in the afternoon. It is free and applications are still open. Meanwhile, the MLK Center on the west side also has a summer program beginning in July. It's a mix of academic enrichment and real life experiences, partnering with other community organizations to get the most out of those opportunities. It's $38 a week fee for that program. And if you're interested in either summer program, just call the community centers. Information to contact them is available on our website, erienewsnow.com. Several local organizations today received a big financial boost. Yeah, the Erie County Gaming Revenue Authority, otherwise known as EGPRA, awarded more than $200,000 in special events and over $235,000 in community assets. We're talking arts, culture, and heritage programs. Now, these grants will be distributed to 70 nonprofits and municipalities in Erie County. Asbury Woods, the host of the award event today is also a grant recipient along with townships boroughs churches and other community events the families on erie's east side mourning today following the death of an 18 year old would-be erie high grad who was allegedly killed by her <coughs> mother who relatives say had been off of schizophrenia medication yeah the alleged murder happened in tampa florida where Natavia Sanders was studying remotely from Erie High School while living with her mother and three younger siblings. Her mother, Reticia Silvis, is now being held in jail without bond. Her family says this serves as a tragic reminder to advocate and pay attention to mental health. The Rotary Club of Erie today hosted its monthly meeting, highlighting and learning more about ongoing projects in downtown Erie. Bishop Curtis Jones Sr. from the Historical Institute of Culture and the African American Experience addressing the group today. He discussed the museum's work and the latest developments. The museum recently received new pieces of art and artifacts highlighting African American inventions and with the help of artists from Texas to California, the 2024 Break Free Juneteenth celebration is slated to kick off next Wednesday, that's the 12th at 5 o'clock, admission free for anyone who wishes to attend.